the Douglas fir, known for their 5 to 11 centimeter long cones with papery scales and three pronged bracts. The needles are flat with pointed tips and have a single groove on the upper surface. They are lighter in color on the bottom and soft to the touch. The bark is smooth and grayish brown. The western cedar is characterized by its long skinny drooping branches that turn up at the tip. The cedar's needles are flat and scale-like with a pungent aroma. The bark is grayish and peels off in long strips like a cheese string. The cedar's cones are one centimeter long and grow in bunches of four or five with a reddish tinge. The Western Hemlock, known for its down-sweeping branches and feathery foliage. The cones are numerous, small, greenish, and hang from the ends of branchlets. The bark is rough, scaly, and reddish dark brown. The Sitka Spruce. The Sitka Spruce is known for its magnificent bluish-green needles. The cones exhibit wavy and papery scales with ragged edges. At this time of the year, they're quite brown. The bark is a noticeably purplish gray, as can be seen by the comparison shown here. Here we see the humans at first attempt trying to scale the tree to confirm the suspicions about the Sitka Spruce. Zachary and Patrick both fail the execution. After some time, the female mounts the tallest male and attempts to reach the branch. Success. The humans indeed confirm the identity of the Sitka Spruce. The needles are four-sided, stiff, and sharp to the touch. There are two white lines on the upper and lower surfaces. The needles are arranged spirally along the branchlets. The immobilis fir can grow up to heights of 50 meters and easily has the largest and heaviest cones of native firs. A defining characteristic of the immobilis fir is the upright sitting barrel cones. Bloody hell! Is that it? That thing is puny! That is not 50 meters tall! It's barely one! That must have taken them hours to find! It, it did! Hmm. The needles are dark green and notched at the end with two white bands on the lower surface. And alas, this species is indeed the Amabilis fur.